Hello, my name is Miles Wetzel, this is Kobe, and this is Will behind the camera over here. Today we're going to be talking about the uh, vertical, vertical, the metal cutting vertical band saw. It's safety equipment and it's uses. Uh, first off, the thing you want to have is some earplugs. Um, I'm not going to have for the purpose of just a demonstration that we need to have earplugs. Some safety gloves. These are not quite safety gloves that work, but these are ideal because you can still feel what you're kind of doing. And you also want to have safety glasses. Before we start cutting this over, variable components of the unit. Right here is the greaser. We'll make sure that it's lubricating, so you're going to worry about that. The uh, shop technician takes care of lubrication. This right here is the variable speed gauge. What it does is it controls how fast the uh, band saw is turning on a vertical axis. Uh, here's the power box right back here. Most of these things back here you don't need to touch because they will be set for you. Um, underneath here, you have the shaving trough, which also has the lubricant inside there. Um, as you go through here, this is a safety switch that stops the brake if there's ever an accident, so be very well aware of it. You can pull it, and it'll stop the entire machine. This right here is the tensioner for the bandsaw. This typically you do not need to touch. If you touch this, what's going to happen is it's going to be too tight, and the saw blade might break. If you loosen it, the saw blade's going to fall off, and it's an extra 30 minutes on your day you, you want to mess around with. Um, as we're going through to see the other parts of this, on the front side here, right here is an instruction sheet of what to do and what not to do. Read through it, familiarize yourself with it, just make sure you're not stepping outside the boundaries of what you're supposed to be doing. If you open the inside here, you can see how the saw blade is attached. It goes through these two rollers right here. So before you start, you should open up make sure the saw blade is inside these two rollers and is orientated the proper way to make sure that you're going to get a nice clean cut as you start using the equipment. After that's over, you close this. You check the trough down here to make sure that the saw blade is completely back. And then you look at the material, the material is seated, seated down straight. This right here is the tightener for the uh, clamping device. As you can see, it's mobile. And as you slide it out, the wider you get, the wider piece to put in there. Properly seated. Put the piece down, make sure there's no debris under that. Um, additional information as you're looking towards the front here, you're going to see an operation switch. You're going to see this, it's a start button, you just push that button, the saw will start rotating. The stop will stop it from rotating. The switch on the side right here is an automatic shut off just in case anything's going wrong. You've got to quickly hit something, you hit that, it'll disengage the entire saw. The other side here, what drives the saw? the saw back and forth. This is the automatic variable speed engage. It is set by this over here and use the owner's manual only to find out how far it should, how, how uh, fast it should be set. The thicker the piece, the slower the motion you should have to do. If you go too fast, what's going to happen is the saw blade is going to start to warp, the teeth are going to start to fall off, and you're just going to be you know, working against yourself as you go. So now Kobe's going to walk us through the steps of operation so we can see how this all works.
Yeah. 